everyone. This is Chris from gorgeous Seattle, where we're taking a look at the garden that I've created in our backyard. And the best part is I get to take a look at all these flowers on my way into the art studio. I thought I'd take you on a little tour of my art studio. This is where I spend a lot of time when I'm not practicing or reading about music or writing about music. The work that I do is uh, in caustic medium. And that means it's made of uh, wax. So you start with these blocks of beeswax and you mix it with a hard resin, a tree resin. And then you paint it onto these wood panels using lots of different things. Right now I'm experimenting with pressing some flowers and leaves to give a texture. And here are some of the colors that I've made where I take colored pigments and I mix it in with the beeswax medium to make all of these different colors that become art. And this torch is a butane torch that I use for each layer. The wax needs to burn into the layer underneath so that it uh, stays solid. And that's what I use to do that. So I'm painting with fire. So here's where I take some of these bits of color and I melt it onto this pancake griddle and then I can mix the colors together before I paint them on. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but hey, I play the Baroque trumpet. Anything is possible. So once I've painted some wax on there, it's ready to be fired. So I have my torch, my handy torch. This is how this works. You melt each layer into the previous layer. They kind of mix up a little bit. Then you can carve into it or paint more layers on top. It's pretty endless, just like music. So one of the things I did a couple of years ago at Stanton at the lovely Dreama Anderson's home uh, is we made tonic to have at the party. If you want to make your own, you can do it. Here we need three lemons zested, put that into a quart sized jar, two oranges zested, put that into a quart sized jar. Then we have grapefruit. I did about a half a grapefruit, put that in a quart sized jar, limes, three limes, then lemongrass. And this was the challenge to get in Stanton. And I believe it was Louise Scott who drove, I don't know where, to a big city and, and got the uh, lemongrass for us. So anyway, this is three stalks of lemongrass. lemongrass. Put that in there. Then we have some uh, flavorings. These are green pardon pods. Here's a star anise, some uh, allspice berries, black peppercorn, some kosher salt, some fresh lavender that I pulled right out of my garden. Put all that in there. And then the cinchona bark. So this is this is the, the challenging item to find usually. But I'll just dump that in there. Then we also have citric acid. Oh, try to be a little more careful than that and three cups of water but i just have one cup right now put that in add the other two cups shake it up 
and shake it every day. And in 72 hours, you can have a delicious gin and tonic.